having trouble replicating to a broker server one of our virtual machines. So if we right click on SQL, go to replication, choose view replication health, you see that that one is normal. However, we go to this one and choose view replication health and it says it's critical. And you can see there's an error when we try to replicate with our Hyper-V broker server that's supposed to allow us to make copies of our virtual machines onto another server. Now we've got a, a Hyper-V cluster going on uh, inside Failover Cluster Manager and it's using the broker server to uh, replicate these particular servers. So how do we fix that? It doesn't matter if you have a cluster or not and it doesn't matter if you have uh, Windows Server 2012, 16, or 19, or any future versions. This same command will work. So if we go and we get this error, general access denied error, this one ends in 7005, then we know that it has to do with the iCackles command that we've got to make a change to. Now we want to uh, make sure that you copy this particular ID and paste it into a notepad because we're going to need it for the next command. So here's the command we're going to use. Our virtual machines are in the F drive, F colon backslash VM1 folder. And we're going to use iCackles, followed by the path to the VM, the root path to the VMs, and followed by grant NT virtual machine. And then that copied ID you saw from the event log, this is where you paste that in. Be sure to keep the quotes around the name and the ID. And then you also want these extra characters at the end here. So we're going to use plain old command prompt. We're not going to be using uh, PowerShell for this particular command. So make sure you choose an administrator command prompt. We'll paste in the command that we just had in that notepad. There it is. And we see that it processed all 128 files and that there were no errors. We should be able to go back into our virtual machine and set up replication again. We can check to make sure that the iCackles command worked by right-clicking on our VM1 folder, go to Properties, Security, and then we scroll down, and there it is. Make sure that um, our particular virtual machine that wasn't replicating has full control. And we can see that the other two already have control, and that's why they weren't having any issues. We can also drill down into the Hyper-V Replica Virtual Machines folder itself, and we see the XML file, and go to Properties, Security, and we should see the same thing, and we do. Now instead of right clicking and choosing resume, we're actually going to have to remove the replication and start once again. After removing the replication, we need to go into our broker server, which is where the files are being replicated. And we go over to the name of the server that we want to delete and we delete it. So this is not from the production one. You can see it's turned off. This is just the replication. Click delete and now it's gone. And now we should see that the file is gone for the hard disk. And if it's not, we can manually delete it. We're in the VM1 folder we're in earlier. And if we go to virtual hard disks, we see this particular uh, uh, virtual machine that we know this is it because it has the name of the server that we want to delete. And it has the same ID as well. Sometimes when you try to delete it, it takes a while for it to get out of memory. But after a few minutes, usually you should have no problem. Well, the documentation was saying it could take up to an hour, so I just went ahead and restarted the server, and then I was able to delete that file after the reboot. So let's enable replication. And we don't need to do anything different than we did on the initial replication. So we'll just choose the exact same settings as we did before. And complete. It says it's set up successfully. We can click close. And now it's sending the initial replica. We can see in the VM1 folder it is rebuilding. It's just going to take some time. And we see now our replication health is showing normal. So we were successful in fixing the issue with the iCackles command.